Welcome wanderers. We are so excited that you are here today because this is not just any 2021 Airstream Classic walkthrough. Why? Because we actually live in this unit full time. So we're gonna get to give you the real inside scoop on what it's like to use one of these babies on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, without further ado, we're gonna give you a tour of our home starting with the exterior. Let's wander around our 2021 Airstream Classic, y'all. Let's start with a little bit of the basics. This is a 30-foot classic RBQ. RB means rear bed, Q means queen. It also comes with a twin bed option. Now, first off, it's called a 30-foot, but in fact, it's 31 feet and 3 inches. It's pretty long. Long, right? And the width is 8 foot 5 inches. So wide, but not too wide. Not like post-Thanksgiving meal, like... I ate too much wide. It's just right to fit in the lanes. And the height is nine feet, 9.5 inches. Now, because it's less than 10 feet tall, we've had no problem towing this the last month. It fits very easily under all bridges, but just know it's about the height of a basketball hoop. Ah! Definitely can't dunk a basketball now, but back in my day. Next, let's check out some of the power options. Up front, you've got two AGM batteries mounted close to the propane tanks here. You can find those directly underneath this panel. Now it's not lithium. If you want lithium, that's gonna be on your dime. AGM is supplied with the Airstream. Now underneath this aluminum covering, you have two 40 pound aluminum propane tanks, and that will power your heating system, your refrigerator, and probably a few other things I'm forgetting right now. Check out these tanks. It's come with an auto two-stage regulator. And you know what that means? That means when it's super freaking cold outside and you don't want to go outside because the tank went empty, it will automatically switch over to the next tank. On top of that, you've got this awesome jack here. It's all powered, there's no crank, and it also has a little light. So when you're connecting at night, you flip the light on and you just move the jack. It's as easy as that. Next, I'm going to show you where I hook up on the back. When we bought our Classic, they gave us a lot of keys. So we bought this lanyard to keep tabs on all of these keys because there's quite a few. Because then you're going to have to buy some locks and some other stuff and it feels like everything comes with a key. The first key unlocks the outdoor shower. Extends, you've got hot and cold water. Just make sure if you're using the outdoor shower, you remember to turn it off. I'm not saying one of us did that, but it wasn't me. To be completely fair, what happened was I went to the beach, I used the shower to wash my shoes off, and I thought I had turned it all the way off, except just a little bitty tiny bit was still on, and it filled up the entire little compartment and started leaking. So of course, these things are like watertight, so it didn't do any damage to our Airstream, but you do have to make super sure that you turn it all the way off. No drips whatsoever, or else you come back to a little bit of a mess like I did. What do you do? The next thing, we've got these two covers here. This top cover includes two coaxial connections. The first coaxial connection here is to connect cable. And a lot of the campgrounds you visit will have cable hookups. So all you need to do is bring a coaxial cable and you can plug into the cable and they usually give you like a guide for all the local channels. The second is a satellite hookup. And a lot of people have purchased their own satellite dishes to connect to their own networks. And that's cool too. This is our 50 amp hookup. And this is where we connect to shore power at each of the campgrounds. This 50 amp comes with the Airstream. And what also comes with the Airstream is a 30 amp, it's called a dog bone connector. And what that does is if you're at a campground that only has 30 amp hookups, you can connect a 30 amp hookup and then plug your 50 amp into that dog bone connector. And then you have power. This right here, this is one that I had no idea existed probably the first two weeks. This is where you fill your fresh water tank. This is exactly where you'd fill the fresh water if you want to do some off-grid boondocking. This tank is 54 gallons, which will get you by for quite a while if you're conservative with your water consumption. This is where all of my OCD kicks in. You've got three main hookups here. This right here, where I've got this inline water filter, is where your water feeds in from the city line. Right below it is a flush line for your black tank, which we'll talk about in just a moment. 
And then you've got your black tank hook up here. And I like to call this setup my poop train. And making a little cameo, Mr. Suey Pig here who's guarding my train. Hello, Suey Pig. Normally, I would take this Suey Pig and I would put it on top of here to keep the connection in place. But as you can see, the pipe is out of the ground. You're gonna experience that at a lot of different campgrounds. Like sometimes the sewer hose is closed, sometimes it's like a million miles away. You just kind of have to roll with it. So you get really good at the setup here. Now these are the valves for the two tanks. The gray tank, which holds 37 gallons of water. I like to call this Lauren's tank. Basically, if you're taking a shower or rinsing your dishes, that's gonna fill the gray tank. And then you've got your black tank, which is essentially your, you know, number one, number two tank and that is 39 gallons. One of the things we realized when we bought the Airstream is it didn't come with any of this stuff, and for someone like me who's OCD, it's okay because I wanted to buy my own stuff anyways, but just be prepared. You're gonna have to pick up a few of these accessories after you buy your classic Airstream. Also, a handy feature is you've got a storage bin like this on both sides. In this particular storage bin, since it's so close to my hookups, I'll keep my safety goggles. and my gloves that I use for doing naughty things occasionally with the poop tank and stuff. Now this classic comes with four Zip D awnings. Three are manual and one is automatic. Now it comes with an extender, if you're just a little bit shorter than I am, to unlatch some of these things, but this is one of the smaller awnings. Now if it wasn't windy today, I'd open all four awnings, but if you're a newbie, don't ever open the awning on a windy day, like ever, right? Because you will lose your awning and you don't want that to happen. It's happened to most of us. So just don't be that person if you can. Now we're gonna walk around the back of the classics so I can show you more of the storage compartments that comes with this. You've got two main compartments here in the back. The first one is in this tailgate. Two latches. And this is where I keep my Anderson leveling blocks and X chocks super handy and super easy to access. The second compartment I'm gonna show you actually reaches into the interior of the Airstream. Twist them, pop it open, and this actually gives you ability to access things that are stored underneath the bed, which we'll show you in just a moment. And there's actually more storage underneath these panels here. That's where I keep a lot of my extension cords and things like that. Now, the one thing you'll notice is that there's still plenty of room here. There's storage underneath these panels. There's storage throughout this entire compartment here that we have just not yet used. And we've been traveling full time for months. So clearly this comes with enough storage for all of your journeys. Now there's two really cool things that we've added to the exterior. The first, the one that Lauren wanted was the graphics kit. And we've got graphics around the rear panoramic windows, but they are perforated so you can see through them pretty cool feature. We have these graphics because as we're touring the country, we want to encourage as many people as possible to wander local within their own communities. And the more we can inspire people like you that are watching this video, the better off we all are. Now we're gonna go back around to the front of the unit. One of the really cool things is that this came with two chairs that match our Zip D awnings. Now, Laura and I are both kind of techie nerds, so one of the things we really appreciate is the Smart Controller app. And one of my favorite things to do on the Smart Controller app is to open the awning with my phone. Check this out. Voila! And if it were dark outside right now, I can actually turn on the awning lights from the remote control as well. One of the really helpful things about this unit is that it has not one, but two 15,000 BTU AC units with heat pumps. And that is extremely helpful when you're in climates that are extremely hot. Because while one AC unit is great in like really hot climate, two is even better. The Classic also comes with 270 watts of solar panel power. While some people will look to upgrade their solar panels to produce even more power, we feel like the 270 is sufficient for us right now. It powers the smart controller panel, um, it powers all of our lights, both interior and exterior, and it recharges the battery during the day as well. So, pretty cool feature. Before I turn it over to Lauren, if there are anything specific that you'd like to know, please leave a comment down below, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. All right, y'all ready to check out inside? Come on in. 
So if you watched our video where I talk about whether or not our 30 foot Airstream is too big or not, one of the things that I mentioned is that anytime you're living in an RV Airstream or not, the first rule you probably want to make is make sure everybody takes their shoes off before they come in because otherwise you end up with dirt everywhere because that's a rule in our brand new 2021 Airstream Classic. I have added these cool little organizational tools and they simply allow me to flip our little shoes in there to keep this area nice and clean, which I love. So also one of the first things that you will notice when you come into the Airstream is there is this really cool panel that gives you tons of options. It gives you the options to A, turn on onboard mode, which will make all the lights come on. Before I show you the living room, I will also note that we have added these little hooks up here that are super cheap but so helpful in staying organized, which is critical when you're living in 250 square feet. I'm five foot six, and as you can see, I can pretty much touch both sides of our living room, but it doesn't mean that it's not comfortable. The first thing that we have that I think is amazing about the classic and obviously beautiful are the storage containers that we have up here. They have built-in lighting, so it's super easy, even at night, to see what you have in here. And then I've gotten these cool little containers that fit perfectly. They're actually supposed to be for refrigerators, but they're great for organizing your stuff, because that's really important too. So you can see we have a bunch of our computer gear. This is also where you'll find Airstream Connect. We've got a bag of wires in front of it, but this is where the built-in Wi-Fi system is with the Airstream Classic. It's an AT&T system and they even have a rebate where you get 100 gigs of free internet. So that's pretty cool as a starting point and it works great. Another thing you'll notice about the cabinets is these built-in speakers. And all their, although they are sneaky from a standpoint of seeing them, they sound great. I'll show you a little bit more about that system in a minute, but first, recliners. One of the things that we love about this area is of course you could use it as a bed which we have when a friend came to stay but for the most part we use them like this watching TV at the end of the night. Another thing that we love about the classic is how convenient it is for all of your gadgets. These little USB charger ports here we use them on a daily basis and while we've got our feet up Check this out. It's a little table. You can set a drink on it. Whatever. Typically, when you're using this living room area, you're sitting watching TV, whatever. You don't actually want to get up to do anything. So, they've got this little panel. It even has a cinema mode. When you press it, it turns all the lights off except for the bedroom and makes it perfect for watching a movie. You'll also notice that we've added our own little addition here for convenience sake. So, we installed an Apple TV, um, but you can see that we use just simple 3M tape and they stick right here. We actually don't have to remove them when we travel. They stick perfectly still the whole time. Another thing you probably noticed when we first walked in here is that this classic unit has a ton of windows. It really feels like you're outside all the time. Counting in total, there are 19 windows in this unit but they make a huge difference. We've been in a lot of RVs that, you know, they've got walls with just one or two windows on them and it can get really dark, especially at night. But that's one of the things that made us choose this unit was all the windows. So if we're being really bougie, if there's one thing we could change about the classic, it would be the shades. So they are super convenient. You've got your first shade that basically just blocks the sunlight. And then you have a blackout shade, which is perfect at night. So we would absolutely love for these to be electronic. So Airstream, if you're listening, that should totally be a thing. <laughs> but as you can see, they're super easy to operate. <laughs> All right, so now that I've shown you guys the living room, let's take a look at the kitchen. Ta-da! I know, it took me a really long time to get here. But we really do love our kitchen, even though it's small. We have tons of cabinet space up here. So how I organize it is I use this first cabinet for our plates, cups, 
We always have a jug of water here, which is really convenient. Our knives, wine glasses, and in the next cabinet, I have all of our spices, teas, some mixing bowls, these awesome little containers. They're called Tip Top. And no, they did not pay me to say this, but they are American made. And I freaking love these replacing Ziploc bags. They're awesome. And then of course, Daniel's coffee gadgets. When you first buy a classic, one of the things you'll notice is you've got this extra counter space, but no sink. Obviously there's a spigot here, so there has to be one. And of course, it's underneath. And it's really beautiful because it's a farmer's tub sink and it gives you tons of space. But we learned in the Airstream Addicts Facebook group that there's a great hack for these little pieces. Because when you use your kitchen on a regular basis, you want your sink open. So these just kind of get in the way, but they don't have to. You can use them as little tables in the living room area. Ta-da! Now you have a hard surface and you don't have to worry about any kind of cup rings. Now that you've gotten rid of the sink covers, the easiest way to add counter space is this little maduji. <laughs> it's really easy to use and just flips right up so that you've got an extra working space. I use this spot most often for dirty dishes. So I'll put the dirty dishes here, I'll wash them here, and dry them here. Super convenient. So with a sink that's this deep, you would almost think that the storage underneath it would be meh but that's really not true. It actually has quite a bit of space. You can see we have our little trash can. This comes with the Airstream. We store a lot of our cleaning supplies right underneath there. But then you also have three convenient drawers. This first one is where we store all of our utensils. And this little utensil holder comes with your Airstream, so you don't have to figure out what size it should be. Right underneath here, is what we call our junk drawer. You can see in a compilation of a bunch of random you know what. But then last, this drawer under here is my favorite because I store our little dish cleaning mat under here on top of all of our kitchen gadgets. There's only one thing I would change about this entire setup. And it's simply that if this one cabinet is closed, these drawers don't open. And it's only by like a centimeter or two. So, you know, the little things. As I bring you further, as in like two steps deeper into my kitchen, you will notice that we have a microwave as well as a stove top, which I'll show you in just a second, and an oven. Now, the oven is an optional solution in the 2021 Airstream Classic. You can actually replace this with more cabinetry if you wanted to. I use this oven on a daily basis and we already have more than enough storage, so I love having this here. The microwave is also a convection microwave, so there are tons of things that you can do in it. We don't really use the microwave that much, but I think it's just a personal preference. We didn't use the microwave much when we owned a home either. So right under the microwave is more storage, and this drawer is huge. This is where I store all of my pots and pans. You can see I have multiples of them, and there's plenty of storage. And then right underneath the oven, we actually have this unique little cabinet. It's only about, I don't know, six inches deep. This is where I store all of our rice, nuts, uh, croutons, all that kind of good stuff that's kind of easy to mold. You may have noticed our big wooden cutting board. Obviously this didn't come with the Airstream, but we store it over the stove because we cut a lot of vegetables around here. Right underneath our stove, you will see, this is a propane based stove, which is great because when you're boondocking and you're not connected to hookups, it still works anyway, which is important. You'll notice that we have these cast iron grates over top of the stove. This doesn't come with the Airstream Classic. They come with just some wire grating over the eyes, but this was something that Daniel loved and thought was beautiful. And it actually is pretty functional too, but our stove top works great. And I love that we've got this vent over it because as you can see, not only does it have a light, but it also has a fan. We heard before we moved into our Airstream that cooking in an RV can get really hot. And between our two AC units and that fan, we haven't found that that's true. So that's pretty cool. Let's get fancy and 
spin around to the dining room. So as you can see, there's plenty of space at this dining room table. We've easily sat four here as well as with a toddler and we eat here and it also doubles as a office desk for us on a regular basis. One of the things that I love about this table specifically is that if you just open this little cabinet right above here, there's actually a up and down button and it's in reach and I'm kind of short y'all. So if you're sitting here and working and you feel like it's a little bit too tall, you can easily just move it down. It was built because this dining room table also turns into a bed, which I'll show you now. Set this up, first we have to get the extra cushions out, which we store those in the living room. Right in this little armrest here. So you can see, Velcro, super easy. And then just simply pull these out. So I've already got the other one pulled out. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to put the table lower down. And you hear that? It's really quiet too. Then you simply take these cushions and stick them in there. Works pretty easy. Next, obviously, as you can see, it's still a little short for an adult for a bed, so you can move these off. Ta-da! You have significantly more space. Okay, for real, we've never actually set up this bed like this before. I'm 5'10". I'm super curious to see how it'd fit on here, so I'm gonna give it a try. It's actually not that bad. Now I just need a comfortable pillow and a blankie and I can take a nap. Now that the magic bed making fairies have magically righted all of this, I'll show you some of our really cool tech. Our season system is one of the things that makes the Airstream Classic really unique and easy to work. Where a lot of things are manual in other RVs, this system makes everything digital. It shows us the levels of our tanks being full. It shows our propane. It has different screens where you can see the exterior lighting you can turn it on. You can do the interior lighting you can turn that on and off. It also controls our air conditioning units and the heat pump, which is great if it's just a little bit chillier than you would want it to be. And it controls our fans. So there's fans in the bathroom. There's fans in the front of the cabin. And the list goes on. But this system makes things really, really easy to work in the Airstream. The next system that you also see on this wall is our Aldi system. And this is basically the system that controls the propane. Throughout the entire 2021 Airstream Classic, we have a heating system around the unit. The propane heating system is one of the reasons that the Airstream Classic is the line that was built for living in. When it's cold outside and you turn on this system, it makes this thing warm quick, which is great, especially in low temperatures. The last thing that's relevant on this wall is the TV, which is a smart TV and comes with the Airstream. But the coolest thing about this is that you can see it's on an arm and it makes it closer to the seating area. Super easy to just move back in and lock into place. Now let's show you the cabinetry. Like I showed you before, this is where you move the bed, but it's also where your sound system is held. And this thing is Bluetooth capable, which we freaking love. You also have a Blu-ray player, which we can't say we've used one of these in the last decade. So, you know, to each his own. And then you've got one more USB charger up here. We've connected our Apple TV through this system too, but this is where we store some of our pantry goods. I've had a couple of people on Instagram reach out and ask me where I got these containers and a couple of the other things that I've already mentioned and Daniel talked about outside for our RV. There's a link below to our Amazon store and you can find those there. Now that I've showed you the sitting area, let's come further back into the kitchen. One of my favorite things about this unit is this humongous fridge. We may only live in 250 square feet, but we basically have a residential style refrigerator. Isn't this awesome? We have it fully stocked. I also love that it's pretty much a full size freezer too. And since I love to make freezer food, this is super helpful. The refrigerator runs off propane too. So even while we're moving, it stays nice and cold and keeps everything fresh. Another thing Daniel and I love to do that you're not gonna see in your typical walkthrough is every state that we go to, we add a magnet. And obviously, we're creating quite the collection. 
the last part of our kitchen tour is my little pantry, which actually stores quite a bit of food. It's great that it just slides in and out. And then I also have this cool little cabinet. I store a bunch of little smaller things that are kitchen friendly. This last little bit of the kitchen is something that obviously I added. I used the same little hooks that I did up front with the keys, but these little macrames, they just hold my fruits and vegetables. And they're really cute. Doing another fancy spin integrates us into what I would consider the living quarters of our Airstream Classic. The very first thing is our closet. It smells so good. <sighs> it's a cedar built closet. So if you were anything like me, when I went to my grandmother's house growing up, she had this big chest and it smelled exactly like this. So there is so much nostalgia every time I open these doors, which I love. I've added this little shoe rack. Then we just keep all the clothes that we wear here on a regular basis. Also back here, I have more of those super convenient little shoe storage pieces that I showed you up front earlier. Also at the bottom of the closet, which would be darn near impossible for you to see, is a safe, which is pretty cool, that's operated by one of those keys that Daniel was talking about we have a gajillion of living in an RV. Underneath here, there are some electrical fun stuff. Unless you own one of these, you probably don't care, so we'll keep moving on. Now, welcome to our bathroom. Starting on the, well, let's see. Starting on your left side is the shower. Welcome in. So I'm five foot six and fit in here pretty comfortably. Now let me show you the bathroom. The first thing that you will notice is how many big, beautiful mirrors there are. This makes it super easy to get ready in the morning. I fit pretty comfortably in here. I've got this big, beautiful mirror where I do my makeup, nice large sink, there's tons of places to store things. They've got this bin here that you could use for laundry. We don't use it that way. We just put more bathroom stuff in here. You've got this other cabinet back here. Tons of storage in this bathroom. This is actually a heated towel rack. So when you have the propane turned on on a cold day, this rack gets super warm and warms your towels, which, you know, feels kind of like you're at a fancy hotel. Our toilet is pretty much a normal septic toilet. You can step on the pedal at the bottom, flushes everything down, works great. But one of the things that we love about having a larger RV is the fact that the bathroom is completely separate from the shower. If you've seen any of these van life tours, we're pretty positive we have no desire to live in a space where the toilet and the shower are the same. Nothing. This is a little more bougie than that. You are now officially in our bedroom, and we really love our bedroom. One of the first things you'll probably notice is that our bed is sitting up. This makes it so much easier to walk around the bed during the day so that you can access all the storage back here. The first of our storage is right above the bed. It has all those convenient lights that we have throughout the rest of the cabin. Like Daniel mentioned before, most Airstreams have the option with the bedroom to do either a queen-sized bed or two twin beds. So the other solution with the bedroom in the Airstream Classic is that you have a twin on that side and a twin on this side with a bedside table in the middle. Apparently that gives you more storage, but since Daniel and I already don't use the storage we have, and for obvious other reasons, we liked this setup. Speaking of other storage, there's tons of storage under the bed and it's really, really easy to access. So let's show you that. The whole bed is built on a hydraulic system, which is part of what makes it so easy to work. Not only does it have drawers, which you can access without pulling the bed up, but there's tons of storage and way back there, that's where Daniel was showing you earlier that you can actually access the storage from outside too. So to do the bed, you simply press this button down. It also has a panel for things that you need to do when you're typically around here. It's got a sleep mode, you've got accent lights, ceiling lights, reading lights, that shower fan that I just pressed a minute ago. Oh, and of course there's a TV, but we absolutely never use this TV, so I can't really tell you anything about it. So, let's put the bed down. It's obviously a little more difficult to walk around here now. Eee. 
So that's the best part about the fact that the bed goes up and down. But while it's down, I'll show you what you can see when you're actually sleeping on it, because this is pretty cool. All right, so when you're actually in bed and you flip up like this, you have a whole nother thing of control panels. This thing, it makes it so easy to be lazy. So you can onboard mode, bath lights, which is super convenient if you have to go tinkle in the middle of the night. Um, you also have reading lights, so you can turn these on and off. And these things are also push button. So if one of you wants to read and the other doesn't, that works great. Last but not least in the bedroom are these super convenient setups by the bedside table. So you have USB plugs. You have another switch to move the bed up and down. Although I don't really suggest you doing that while you're in the bed. It can't be good for it. And then you can see we added more of our 3M tape so that if we ever decide to use that TV, we've got remotes there. That works. But as you may have noticed, it's getting a little bit darker outside. And now that I've given you the full tour of the interior of our house, Daniel has a really cool feature that he added to the Airstream. Come on, let's show it to you. Starting with the awning LED lights. Now this comes standard with the classic, but what I've done is I've added another feature that is very unique to our Airstream. You ready for this? Let there be light below the Airstream. Isn't that cool? I have the ability to change colors as well. Bam, bam, bam. This comes from a company called Boogie Lights. They're family owned. They've been operating since 1989. Yes, we know 50% of you out there will think that the underbody lights are ridiculous. That, oh my gosh, we're probably jerks and play them with the disco ball light in the wilderness. But that's not really why we got them. More often than not, the way we actually are using these is the bright white lights that actually are underneath them. Like these. And what's wonderful about this is when we're coming into a campground at night and hooking up, no longer do we have to put a flashlight on your shoulder and like try to figure out what's going on. They're super functional to be able to see your surroundings. It's also great after a long hike day to come back and needs to be on in white so that you can see where you're going. It just feels like another level of safety. And that's the reason why I love them. Whereas I kind of feel like the multicolored thing is like straight out of the 90s. What do you do? The last feature I'm gonna cover is the handle. Check this out. Um, this glows at night and it just, I mean, honestly, it just looks cool. I mean, it doesn't have to be glowing. You can turn it off inside, but it looks a lot cooler when it's glowing, right? There you have it, Wanderers. A full walkthrough of our 2021 Airstream Classic. Not done by a dealership, but done by people who actually live full time in one of these things. And if you've enjoyed this video, we appreciate it if you would subscribe, click the little bell so you're notified when we have upcoming videos, and we promise to be as entertaining as we are in this video <laughs> on all future videos because we are newbies and we are going to break stuff. We're gonna try boondocking again because we totally suck at it and we're gonna master it. We're gonna do all the cool things that campers are supposed to be doing and we're gonna get good at it this year. So follow our adventures. <laughs> but in the meantime, make sure you take some time wander local in your own community this week because it really truly is good for the soul.